You're listening to the 13 Nights of Halloween. Hi everybody, welcome to another night of the 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rish Outfield. Each night we will be presenting another scary, spooky, Halloween-esque topic for your listening horror and pleasure. Yes. Your macabre pleasure. <laughs> so yes, it's our 13th annual 13 Nights of Halloween. Stop. And uh, today we've got, it's a sort of a different subject. I don't know. We're, we're talking, I mean, this is not a scary subject. It's a Halloween related subject though because every year there's these cereals that appear on the shelves suddenly like once we get into somewhere into september or whatever that are the halloween related cereals breakfast cereals related to halloween there's the special halloween treats and they've been around forever i don't know how long they've been around but it's since probably before i was born they had these cereals. I don't know. Yeah, they're the General Mills Monster Cereals. And when I was a kid, they were available all year round. At some point, probably during the 80s, they made the shift to that they were only available seasonally around Halloween time. But it's still kind of neat to see them every year around this time. Can you name the cereals? Well, there's Frankenberry... Although I probably wouldn't have been able to name that one before. Okay. That's the one. Well, That's you strawberry. Know, the one that I remember the best is Count Chocula. That's the one everyone remembers. Everyone right? remembers that one. There's Frankenberry and there's Booberry. Booberry. So these are two different flavors, Booberry and Frankenberry? Right. One is strawberry and one's blueberry. Oh, okay. I did not realize that. I was just like, why did they make two berry flavored cereals could they not come up with a different flavor i mean just chocolate and berries and that's it but i guess if it's blueberry and strawberry that makes more sense and yeah when i was a kid there was a fourth flavor which was fruit brute and it had a werewolf as its mascot frankenberry's mascot is obviously the frankenstein monster pink version count chocula is a vampire dracula guy and Booberry is a Peter Lorre voiced ghost. I wonder if he's still Peter Lorre. I don't know that they still do commercials for this stuff, do they? No. Oh, they do God. new commercials for Booberry? I don't know. It, made, it was just such a big deal when we were kids. Everything seemed like a bigger deal, you know what I mean? <laughs> because there was so much less competing for the dollar and for the attention. That's probably true. You know, when we, we talk about it, like Saturday morning. You could get like three or four hours worth of cartoons in a row. And, and people are like, so? You got 24 hours of cartoons every single channel. ESPN shows three hours of cartoons a night. But it was such a special thing. And back then, yeah, there were the kids programming and you'd see just interminable commercials for these characters. Yeah, that, it's weird. that they're, they're kind of beloved to me. And I know the only reason they've got to bring them out is because of nostalgia purposes, right? Probably. I don't know. Maybe they sell well. Although nostalgia seems to be like a huge selling for everything. Yeah. I mean, half the movies in the theater are there because of nostalgia. And, uh, yeah, half the things that people buy, people buy because of nostalgia. I just finished reading a book uh, last month called Ready Player One. And the entire book is just... It's, it's weird because it's like a... A cyberpunk future book, and it's all based on 80s nostalgia somehow. Um, so nostalgia is a super, it's like a big seller th these days, nostalgia. People our age are all about, oh, remember when we were kids and we played with Transformers and G.I. Joe and Thundar the Barbarian, and they were like, no, I don't remember Thundar, the nobody remembers Thundar the Barbarian, what are you talking about? But yeah, I, I guess that's got to be the deal. And what gets people to buy it is the uh, nostalgia of it. But the funny thing about that is, I never in my entire life had one single bowl of any of those cereals. Well, you probably had never had cereal with milk growing up. <laughs> we had to put water like in water. Here's some water for your... <laughs> 
for your Cheerios. You know, like, you know it's on a really... special day you get raisin bran with water. Dude, this is a true story. One time we were all we had a bunch of granola and we were all eating granola for breakfast, and my older brothers and sisters finished off our milk with the uh, with their granola, and I was like, oh. I don't... I want milk for my... Oh, and I was all upset. And finally I decided that I would just put water in it. And I put water in it. And it was the worst thing ever. Dude, I've had water in cereal too. Yeah, it's... Yeah, there you was, don't have milk, what do you, you either eat it dry. Eat it dry. It's way better dry than just soggy with water. <laughs> the freak. Yeah, there was a guy in college that uh, I knew who was a vegetarian... And he was a vegan, though, so he wouldn't do milk, and he would put water in cereal in the morning to eat his cereal. And I just thought, man, you're messed up. I'm sorry. F your friend from college. Yeah. F him. Yeah. Okay, so, so this has all been a lengthy setup. You've never had any of the monster cereals. Never. Never a bite. Wouldn't it be neat if we could rectify that? That injustice. You said recta. I did. Bye. <laughs> it would be neat. So, through the magic of radio... Wait, this isn't radio. Through the magic of the potosphere, we have a box of each one of these cereals. And a cup of water. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, we actually have milk, and it's good milk. Although it's probably warm by now, because we recorded some episodes before this, so it's been sitting in the trunk a while. Okay, well, let's grab it right I'm gonna now. I'm going to go grab it. And uh, we're going to try each one of these cereals, and then we're going to talk about exactly what we thought. Well, before we before we get to that, you've had these cereals before then? I'm sure I have, yeah. See, I was the oldest, and so before the other kids came along, I got whatever I wanted. Mm-hmm. You were and, treated And because I was of... super monster crazy, I'm sure I demanded every single one of these. And I, in fact, I remember Fruit Brute being my favorite, which yeah. makes sense since it's That's the one why they've that went discontinued away. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try this out. You, you're sure that you've had it, but you don't really remember a whole lot about it, then I'm guessing. Well, all cereal tastes the same, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. On in my pebbles. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go get these cereals, and we're going to see exactly how this goes. Almost out of battery, by the way. We may have to go to Walmart and get more or something. I, I think we have some in the car. In it, but I don't know how ah! much it's got. All right. We got bowls. Peter Larry. Try all six Monsters products Can't for a limited bring. time. Wait, there's six? Oh, no, that's just the, like, fruit roll-ups and crap. Fruit roll-ups and Count Chocula treats. And they have these same masks on the back of the packages that you can make of the characters. Oh, I didn't know that was what that was for. That's cool. Frankenberry. There's nothing I like more than to rape a child. Um, are you sure we want him to be our mascot, guys? <laughs> Holy smoke! What? Did you pour half of the box into oh. your bowl? We're just tasting these, That's dude. That's true. I didn't think about that. Big really can't do anything part way, can he? I'm totally making these masks. Yeah, do it. It would be kind of cool to have pictures of us wearing the masks. <laughs> There's your, your Frankenberry. We had Franks and berries. Mmm. Yeah, it's my twig and berry. All right. We should end the episode now, leaving them in suspense. Can we do the taste test so I get back in here so we can hear my reaction? Yes. You hear him slam the door so hard. I think I may have to roll my window up. I'm cold. Oh, my Lord. Why? Why do you slam like that? Because it's like Pomo Mofo Fofo Coco slamming the doors here. <laughs> Cold. Hey, I was pissed when you put the windows down because I was freezing. My nipples could cut glass. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? I okay. It seemed like a wuss. Okay, here we go. Okay. First bite of Frank and Barry. <laughs> okay. 
I think Fruit Group might be my favorite so far, too. Did it have marshmallows when we were kids? Oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. I never had any cereal with marshmallows in it. <laughs> That's true. If we ever did you get... You guys were lucky to have bowls. There would just be a trough <laughs> that they would empty the cereal in. And it's like, kids five through seven, go to the trough. If we had cereal at all when I was growing up, it was always like cornflakes. Or... My mom would always pick the healthiest ones. If your mom could see you now, recording us eating, <laughs> eating? the worst cereal. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time to move on to the next one. Frankenberry, I'm pretty sure is not going to be my favorite. This is the best one. I'm eating it all. You're eating it all? You can. That's fine. I won't stop you. Hey, right. I, I apologize that this episode is unlistenable. By <laughs> it was all my fault because it was all my idea. Poor Gino Moretto right now is just like, slam that bugger like a... Do they have wallabies in New Zealand? Okay. He slammed that bugger like a ring race. That's the, my impression of a kiwi there. All right, I'm going chocula. Mother... Don't For... suppose... Oh, you don't have any milk I left. I it. I liked it. <laughs> you would. I don't get cereal ever, dude. There's marshmallows in this one, too. They're shaped like Vlad the Impaler. Okay, okay, hey. Sorry. Is that what they're shaped like? Uh-huh. You know, so... You... The marshmallows are shaped like the character. So these are shaped like little chocolates. They look like they're shaped like nothing. The cereal themselves <laughs> are shaped like little ghosts, I think. Yeah, all the cereal is shaped like little ghosts. They have eye holes. These ones are brown ghosts. The other ones were pink ghosts. I would think that there's a story in brown ghosts and pink ghosts somewhere, but... But it would wind up in one of your scatological collections. Okay. See, I like this one a lot less, but that's just me. Really? I like this one better. The last one was rather flavorless. I would like to thank Tom Tam Creedy for financing this waste of your listening time. <laughs> this is us chewing. Does the uh, do the marshmallows have a special flavor to them? Yes, death. I think the marshmallows have more flavor to them than the actual cereal does. This is one of those cereals where the marshmallows are perhaps worth eating. You didn't think so on the last? Yeah, they didn't have much flavor, did they? Because... Um, Usually marshmallows are kind of nasty Not when they're in charms, cereal, man. and I'm glad when the kids pick them out, which they all do for some reason. Seriously. So gross. How does my two-year-old know to pick the marshmallows out of cereal? Because it's candy. Okay, so Big just drank the, the brown water. So <laughs> that tells you that he liked it a lot more. The pink water <laughs> he tossed, tossed onto a plant... That plant lies dead yeah, over there in the grass. The plant is still sizzling. Okay, I've got the blueberry right here, man. Oh, you're right. Because I got four. Because there was buy three, get one free. Okay, pour it. Oh, you didn't open it? Or did. did you open it? Oh, you're one of those people that doesn't know how to open a cereal bag. How the hell do you open it? It's On this end, you can pour it out of. What in the crap is that? You can't pour anything out of that. All it's going to do is spill everywhere. Can you imagine being married to this guy? <laughs> First of all, he slams the door like it's the Incredible Hulk after a bad day at the office. I wonder if this episode is going to be unlistenable. Do you hate it when you pour it into the spoon and then it just <laughs> yes. spins around the spoon and falls. splashes <laughs> right out? Hey, that ain't funny, man. The momentum of the pouring milk <laughs> sprays it right back out onto your table or whatever. Justin Charles right now is like, you Americans <laughs> with your sugared <laughs> cereal and your milk from a cow. <laughs> All we need to do is tea and biscuits. And goat cheese. 
Wait, that's Gino the Australian that likes the goat cheese, right? I don't know. Mm. Gino would be mad at me. I said Australian. <coughs> He's a Kiwi. I'm sorry, Gino. <coughs> We've called Gino British and Australian before. Uh, right now he's thinking, just don't call me Canadian. I would be. <laughs> this one's not bad. I think the marshmallows is where all the flavor is. I think all these puffs, or what do you call these? The cereal bits themselves? They may have the exact same flavor. Although the chocolate ones definitely tasted chocolatey, but the berry ones. Seem to be low on flavor unless you have a marshmallow on your spoon. All right. Yeah, it's 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 not as good as the uh, commemorative Elizabeth Bathory flavor that they briefly had, but. Uh, um. Oh, okay. So what you were about to say? Which do you choose? The harder soft option. <laughs> um. Hold on a sec. There. Okay. So we have now taste tested all of these cereals. Started with Frankenberry, then did Count Chocolate, and then did Boo Berry. What do you think? What is... Do they bring back... First of all, do they bring back any memories, any nostalgia? No, none at all. It's weird. They tasted familiar. All three of them taste familiar, but... but it, like because you, all yeah. cereals taste the same. Well, like you said, all the cereals taste the same, so... I don't know, man. I guess there is nostalgia for some people for this, but I would not buy this otherwise. I don't think I would bother to buy this again it's there's got to be other better halloween <laughs> related treats although these are fun because at least they have cheesy names and i do like the fact that they have those masks yeah. <laughs> that you can make you can pop out of the cereal box and somehow put on i wish there was a way we could take a picture of the two of us wearing the masks and nothing else, nothing else. Ah! Yeah. but uh I'm just going to give my personal... First of all, my personal opinion, Count Chocula was my favorite. Okay. And it was the most distinctive. It had the strongest flavor. Yeah. And second of all, I would give them a skip. <laughs> that's my <laughs> official recommendation. Now, maybe that's not fair because now I'm old and these kind of things... You know, when you're a kid, as long as it's got a flavor that's like sugary, you love it. It seems, and so anything makes you happy. And so maybe it's not fair to judge it with adult eyes. But, uh, yeah, I think I would give it a skip. I think that there was a grape flavor, like in the 90s, called Yummy Mummy. Does that sound familiar? It's somewhat. Anyway, yeah, I, I think I like the strawberry one the most just because it reminded me of... It reminded it's you of not... playing with your strawberry shortcake dolls when you were a kid? Well, did, what's his name? Didn't Lotso Huggin... Bear. Didn't he smell like strawberries? He did, or berries, some kind of berries anyways, yeah. But yeah, none of, none of them were particularly good. I, I would prefer like Honey Nut Cheerios or the greatest of all cereals, Lucky Charms, mm. above these any day. But Yeah, it's a good thing they only come out in the... At night. Yes, in Halloween time, because they wouldn't be worth buying otherwise. That's really all I wanted to know. I just wanted to try them out. I wanted to to be a part of that nostalgia that everybody else seems to have but me because I was too poor to afford cereals. So uh, now that I'm a part of it, I'm going to go throw these boxes of cereal <laughs> away. I'm going to give them and... to my children. <laughs> All right. So that's I guess that's our episode for today. It was just the taste test of the, of the monster cereals. Sorry if it was unlistenable. It was my bad idea. <laughs> All right, we're doing our best. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'm Big Anklovich. And I'm Rich Outfield. And I'm Chris Davis. Ah! <laughs> that Gets My Go is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license. Apparently, the creative in Creative Commons doesn't mean anything. 